Hey everybody, thank you for stopping by Esteem Queen and Mentality. I am your girl, Miss Terrell. Be sure that you like, share, subscribe down below. And make sure you also hit that notification bell. So that way you know what's going on and when we are having our latest tea talks. So today I want to talk about a very powerful and moving subject. I think it is definitely one that we all need to keep ourselves abreast of. And it spotlights one word. And it's one word in no matter how many languages you know. It's called no. So today's tea topic is about the word no. But I don't want to just leave it on the surface because, you know, someone can really be asking you for some like life, like threatening, life risking help. And you'd be like, no, we're not going to do that. What I want to explain is, I guess you could say the idea of when it's a good time to use the word no. And sometimes, sometimes it needs to be used. But people have made us feel so bad in the past, probably nine times out of ten, in regards to the word that we try to stay away from it just so we can keep friends. Well, let me let you in on a little piece of advice. When you stay away from the word no, you're practically buying friends. So this is what I want to explain to you with today's tea talk. It's going to be real quick, real short, and it's going to be to the point no chaser when you say no that's confidence when you say no that means you know your statue when you say no that's you understanding your foundation when you say no that means you understand your identity when you say no that means you know yourself when you know yourself and when you say no you care about yourself at some point a time or another where you feel like putting yourself at the top of the list is the best thing for you to do as a priority and you're absolutely right no can be a strengthener on both sides depending on how much bass is in your voice when you say it at the end of the day you got to keep in mind that the reason why you say no is because somewhere within the exchange it became a giveaway Versus a raffle. There's no way you're going to win something if you don't put forth a dollar or an effort to buy a ticket to first. And it's the same thing when it comes to friendships. It's the same thing when it comes down to when it is that we want folks to do for us favors, etc. Whatever it is. But in order for it to be an exchange, you have to understand my side too. You feel me? If it's snowing outside, you're not a good person that drives or you're a person that deals with anxiety, but yet they want you to be there. Okay, but at some point, you got to come first. And you have to come first in a mindset of saying, well, look, I can't do for no one, including me, if I'm not here on earth. So I have to make sure that whatever it is that I'm doing, I put me first always and forever. Because at the end of the day, yeah, we have parents we have people that come into our life, but it's just us when all falls down. It's just us when everything else seems to be obsolete. It's just us when it comes down to who's the strongest and who's going to carry on. Legacy, issues, day-to-day -day duties. No has many roots. It just doesn't have branches. It just doesn't have leaves. So when you say no, understand where it's coming from. Because I'm going to be real with you. Sometimes I can say no because I just downright don't feel like doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I don't know. I don't feel like doing it. And it's okay. We all have those points in times. And we have points in times where we've been asked so many times. It's just like, yo, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. No. And then you have those times where it's just like hmm, you gotta weigh it out because truthfully that's where you should be you should be able to weigh out when it is and where it is the no needs to be applied you know if you have a full schedule and someone's asking you to do something for them last moment or you don't feel comfortable it's going to have you stay comfortable with what you got going on throughout your day you have the right to say no you know why because you're taking care of yourself first and if anyone decides to come at you or to you 
or before you and say, well, if you can't, it's cool. Great. No, it's, it's that simple. Cause one, you're not going to guilt trip me. Two, you're not going to manipulate me. Three, you're not going to make me turn a mirror on myself about what my choice is because the disadvantage you have about turning a mirror on myself is baby i look good <laughs> that's all you really did for me so i see why you want me to do all the favors and do this and do that and do all of this for you it's because you're trying to look a b c d f g and if you can't guess what that worry that you're trying to put on my conscience way too early Knowing that I'm a caring, loving friend, caring, loving being, you're going to make that person feel some type of way. In other words, you're going to mess with their value a bit. So when you say no, you need to say it in a statue of you have an understanding that you got to love you first, boo. Queen and king mind, conscience people. You have to understand that even though you want to do for the people, you got to be able to do for yourself because the one thing I will say kings and queens don't like is someone threatening their throne. And the only way that can happen is if one of them dies off first or at the same time or at any time. So when it comes down to you knowing your worth, understand like with you saying no doesn't mean that you won't do for them it doesn't mean that you can't do for them it's just within that moment within that time frame it doesn't work it doesn't work for you now i will say this because i'm pretty sure we have a couple of them out there and it's cool on your throne but again when you use the word no you have to think about the context clues around what it is that someone's asking for, what it is that you're willing to offer, and how it is that you feel. It's a three-parter. Again, the word no does not just have branches and leaves. It has roots as well. It's a whole tree because guess what? When you decide to say no and you pay attention to the first thing that affects you, where it doesn't help you, it doesn't help you elevate, it just hinders you, you're going to start looking at other things just as closely and clearly because you don't want to run into the same thing though it feels good to say no you're confident behind your no because you know where it's coming from if you know that you've been up all night studying and yet someone wants you to cover their schedule or their day that they have to work knowing that you've been up on okay how, how does that work boo how does that work how does that work you know, your friends want you to say that you're here when you're not there with them. All so they can go and do what? Place you in a place and position where you can't get yourself out of because they wanted you to lie yourself into it. This is how a lot of our kids today, we are losing them. Because we don't tell them how much strength is in the word no. We always try to shame folks with, with the weakness of what it is for you to say yes. And really, that's just, that's just insecurity. But guess what? Queen and king-minded people, they're not, they're not insecure. They're not worried. They're not fretting. They're doing none of that. They don't breathe none of that. So when someone comes to you and they give you a proposition as to, hey, can you do me a favor? Well, what the favor is first. I always ask that. Anyone that knows of me or knows me knows, hey, can you do me a favor? What's the favor first? And is it going to break the law? Like, I need to know. It's the same thing. You deserve to treat your boundary as such. Do you think you can just walk up to the White House and knock on the door? Oh, no. Not if you try to catch a bullet first. They have people for that. There's guards there. There's security there. And your self-worth and your self-care and your self-value, let me tell you, it deserves a couple bodyguards or two because that's sacred. You know, that's gold in the kingdom. So when someone says, hey, well, can you do a favor for me? Your guards should be, they should ask that question. It depends. What is it? And is it breaking the law? Because you have your life to live too. 
you have your story to to write as well and you have your life to build and a legacy to leave and you cannot leave it just continuing to be a person that thinks saying the opposite of no is going to get you where you want to be realize you're trying to make other people happy but when you realize what you wanted to do with yourself it didn't include all those people that you're trying to make friends and buy it all started with you so if it started with me i'm not going to push myself no further than what i can go especially if i haven't even gone further than there yet i just know when not to test the element and i damn sure know when to sit down there's a difference between war and battle. And you can use all your no's in your battle, or you can use them simultaneously in your war and win. But it's all up to when you feel you have the right to do that. And in order to do that, honey, you got to make sure the air, the energy, and the vibes around you are just as clean as the clothes that you wear. Because otherwise, what does dirty clothes normally do to people? It makes them move away. But hell, if you're going to move away, move away because you know what? When I say no, that's because at some point you have to check what it is that you're asking for other people to do for you. For whatever it is that you're looking for. For whatever it is that you got on your mind to ask me or anyone. If you're not mindful of what you're putting on the table, a no is what you're going to get. And when you get up, don't feel any type of way about it. Don't feel no type of sentimental way about it. Because at the end of the day, when it comes down to you protecting you and doing for you, no one's going to understand but you. And that's cool. Folks got the same 24 hours in a day. Same 365 days, 366 days a year. So they want to waste all their hot air complaining. They want to waste their hot air breathing, huffing and puffing extra hard. Get themselves damn near asthma. Let it be what it is. But just understand and make sure that you know when you say no, do it because you're doing and you're doing it in protection for yourself. Not because you're trying to solidify and secure a ground of someone liking you. Because not all yeses equate to folks liking you. Majority of the time, being these days, a lot of the times, yeses are the gates to open for folks to use the hell out of you. So, to each his own. I led you to the water, now you gotta drink it. Other than that, be sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure that you hit that uh, notification bell down below. So that way you are in tune and in check with whatever's going on in our warrior community and our tea talk topics. I will talk to y'all later. Kisses, smooches, bye. The depths of the media sees no evil. Buildings crashing 9-11, no sake for the people. Children take to everything. Others willing to feel anything just to say they were there. Boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands, wives, domestic violence. Do you care? When the curtains close, your head hangs low. You're wishing someone was there. Just turn to me for relief. I know how you feel. I am you. You are me. We share symptoms of the black sheep. Aren't you aware? This image, I remember howling winds. Nights nice trying to hustle to 10 degrees. Ash on my knuckles. Coke in my long jaw, sipping on the breast. A tall glass of liquor, quick and please, we get a sip of this. Coke in my long jaw, slave to the sin. Call me young coke, there if the cops try to frisk. I may get a grip, I may get a grip. Slap and turn these lots of tails some shrimp. I used to bump rain all day as a pick. Now I'm cast Wayne Drake and going in. Oh.